But let's not forget, two teams playing, four actually playing today, but two playing the afternoon game. We've talked about the men in orange. What about Ben Stokes and the men in pink? Yes, a confirmation that he does come into the team in place of Andrew Tai, but they've also brought back the experience of Robin Othapa. They've brought back Rian Parag, who started the tournament, then went out, and he comes back in. Seems to be this is where they're looking to lean towards finding their best 11, Michael, once Stokes comes in and gives them that balance. Yeah, I mean, but Stokes is the key, but, uh, you know, a lot of these teams, you go Kings. 11 who how they didn't chase down yesterday and, and why Glenn Maxwell didn't come in towards the end, I'll never know. But that's for another story. Um, the, 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 just trying to find the form, a lot of swapping and changing. Um, this looks a more experienced team. You know, obviously Ben adds to that, but Utapa coming back in, uh, it looks to me like Rajasthan have gone, you know what, we're in desperate need. We're going to go with our experience and, and try and get us over the line with players that have been there, done it, uh, no doubt have been in this kind of situation before, whether it's for their international teams, for their franchises. Um, and I, I think it's quite a sensible move to just to try and go for a bit of experience to, in, in a situation that they find themselves. They just need to get their better players playing consistently. And that's such an easy thing to say, but they just have not n nothing really from Joss Butler apart from 170. Steve Smith came out of the traps nicely at the start of the tournament in the last few games. Um, He's looked like a cat on a, on a hot tin roof. He, he just not looked settled at all. Uh, Smith, for me, should just play the anchor role and just knock it around and allow the firecrackers to play around him. Uh, Joffre Archer, as you see from the numbers on the screen, uh, he's been outstanding. You know, he's been high class with the bat and the ball. Uh, looking forward to that conversation with uh, David Warner. Uh, Joffre had him on toast in the recent series here in England. Had him out four times in six games. Uh, so that'll be interesting to watch. And, Surely Rajasthan have to attack first with Joffre Archer bowling to David Warner and Johnny Bairstow. If they can strike in the first six and get rid of those two, it'll go a long way to them winning the game. If they allow that partnership to develop and they don't bowl the best bowlers early enough to get rid of them and they allow those players to get in and then all of a sudden you're throwing the ball to the better bowlers when they're in, well, I'd, I'd be throwing the first punch today. Rajasthan Royal have to come out of the traps and bowl the best bowlers in the first three overs to try and dislodge that partnership. Yeah, I was just, just visualising the cat on a hot tin roof, which is pretty much exactly how Steve Smith likes to bat. Imagine him on a hot tin roof in Dubai in 45 degrees. He, but that's Steve Smith, that's the way he likes to play. However, Joy, the problem this season has been, after those first couple of innings, the cat on a hot tin roof has actually been playing the wrong kind of shot and getting out to that ungainly yeah, style absolutely. rather than using I mean, it to his effect. He doesn't need to take those chances. They have batsmen around him who can take those chances. His job is to bat 20 overs. And that's the important thing. If you looked at you know, I just want to take you back to Bairstow's stats. One of the big stats out there is he bats on average for 58 balls. 58 balls means you're basically playing 10 overs in every match. On an average, you're playing 10 overs of the innings. Johnny Bairstow is standing out there for Sunrisers Hyderabad. And that's why they're 3-3. Three three. You know? Those guys are going out there and playing long innings out there, spending time in the middle. And that's what Steve Smith needs to do. Some of the shots that he tried in the first few overs against high-quality pace was, frankly, I mean, this is not what Steve Smith is built to do. The other thing I'm thinking is, you know, you look at that Rajasthan lineup. I promise you, and I've been a part of these IPL teams, there's been this inspirational team meeting where they've said, you know what, this is 2-4, and four. we lose this one, it's over. You know, we're not, it's a too deep a hole to dig ourselves out of. If you've got to, if you win today, it's three and four and you're one game away from 50%. They've had this really emotional team meeting and Robin and all of the kind of guys who, you, if you tell them you're special, you need to do this, Robin, the team needs to, you know, you need to do this for the team today. They've got all those old guys together and they've said like, it's like one last for our one last dance, go out there and do it. So they'll be charged up, you know, they'll be up there and saying that, you know, we win this, we're back in the tournament, we lose this, we're out. So they'll, they'll, they'll play desperate cricket. And if they do play desperate cricket, they have a good chance.